Hi, good morning. Grace and peace be yours from God, our Father, and from our Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm Pastor Ralph Hill, and along with Pastor Joanna at Mount Horeb Lutheran Church, we are uh, grateful to have a chance to be with you each day in sharing God's Word and having a, a thought about it and then uh, having a prayer together. So blessings on your day. As I look outside, it's a little foggy today, um, but maybe that's even more poignant as we sometimes, as God's people, feel like we're in a fog, but it's the faith that gives us a sense of direction and guidance and purpose and a reminder that uh, faith helps us to see when we can't necessarily see with our eyes. Today is uh, Thursday, May 21st, 2020. And the lesson I'd like to read for you today is from um, Luke's Gospel, the 24th chapter, verses 44 to 53. Uh, the other thing is that today is Ascension Day, and so we will read about how Jesus ascends into heaven and how the disciples were together to see this happen, um, and they were told to stick around. God was soon going to do something where they um, would be clothed with the power on high, and here's the verse that talks about that. Then Jesus said to them, these are my words that I spoke to you while I was with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets and the Psalms, must be fulfilled. And then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sin is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. And you are my witnesses of these things. And see, I'm sending upon you what my Father promised, so stay here in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. And then he led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. And while he was blessing them, he withdrew from them and was carried up into heaven. And they worshiped him, and they returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they were continually in the temple, blessing God. As I read and dwell on a verse like this, I think to myself, um, what must it have been like for the disciples? What must it have been like to experience Jesus' ministry and death and then post-resurrection appearance and now ascension and then soon Pentecost? And how does that compare for us today? Um, do we see Jesus who promises to be with us always, even, well, even when it seems like there's a fog uh, going on. And here's one takeaway, at least for me, the nudge I guess I get from reading a passage like this, is that God gives us what we need. That um, I used to hear this all the time growing up and in seminary, we are called, we are empowered, and we are sent to be the church, to go into the world. And God accompanies us as we go. And in the challenges that we personally face, but also in the challenges that we face as we go to be representatives for God or be disciples or be the church. Um, we are called to share Christ's love to the world through advocacy and service. I love uh, St. Francis' uh, thought that says, we are to go and preach the gospel and if necessary, use words. Um, but this passage reminded me of a song that we as counselors sang back in the 80s at Lutheridge. Uh, and we used to sing it, and it changed kind of through the summer as we grew together as a close-knit community. But we would often sing this for Vespers in the evening. Um, but it's called uh, Jesus My Lord, or Have You Seen Jesus My Lord? Um, and here's the refrain. It goes like this. Have you seen Jesus, my Lord? He's here in plain view. Take a look, open your eyes. He's always with you. And then there would be these refrains. Have you ever looked at the sunset with the sky mellowing red and the clouds suspended like feathers? Then I say you've seen Jesus, my Lord. Or have you ever stood at the ocean with a white foam at your feet, felt the endless thundering motion? Then I say, you've seen Jesus, my Lord. Or have you ever looked at the cross with a man hanging in pain and the look of love in his eyes? Then I say, you've seen Jesus, my Lord. 
And then here's one that just being together as a body of Christ with others, and this is what I miss, I think, so much from us not being together in church. Have you ever stood in the family with the Lord there in your midst, seen the face of Christ on each other? Then I say, you've seen Jesus, my Lord. We are Christ to one another, and the light of Christ that we receive in our baptism shines for the world to see, and that's our calling in this world. So today we remember this day of ascension, and we remember that God did send God's promised spirit. Let us pray. Oh God, help us to trust you for all that we need, and open our eyes so that we may see Jesus our Lord, who is always with us. Amen. Great to be with you today. God's peace and blessing as you go out there and shine the light of Christ. Bye.